Hey guys, so I'm home in my apartment and um, I, yeah, I kind of just rather film here. I feel like it's more authentic and um, I'm just not a fan of the studio, you know? So anyway, I'm in my apartment. I also am on my third, third Invisalign tray. So if I do speak a little funny and look a little uncomfortable, it's because of my Invisalign, which um, has now become a little bit more manageable. At first I was like, what the hell did I do? This is a bad idea. And now I'm just like, you know, okay, this is life. This is what life is. So I have two or three months left um, with the Invisalign and then the, my teeth will be straight. Turf. <laughs> than they were before. So anyway, that's not important. What's important is I wanted to do a review video. So I wanted to do a review video on the September Itsy Glam Bag. Uh, a lot of you actually asked me to go back to kind of the review format that I tried, <laughs> tried it, uh, that I tried a couple months ago. And um, in, instead of kind of doing the incorporate, like instead of incorporating the products in a tutorial, a lot of you kind of just wanted to get like a quick, straightforward review. It's been a minute and 35 seconds and I haven't done anything yet. And so I'm gonna actually get started. Um, thumbs up if you guys like this video. I am sorry also if you hear any background ambiance noise, it just adds, adds to the environment. So that you guys, you guys feel like you're here. Like this ambulance right now. Living in the city. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the bag first. This is the September bag. It's super pretty. Um, it has this kind of, I feel like I get a denim vibe from the base of the bag. It's kind of like a sparkly denim canvas coated texture. And then you have this gold and uh, sort of, is there silver on it? No, it's just the gold and the women dancing and they, it says it's the, <laughs> um, so it's, it's pretty cute. Especially if you kind of save all of these and you travel with your makeup in these, um, these actually come in handy. So that's the bag, super cute like I said. Um, I'm going to start with the lipstick so I can just kind of throw that on now. So the first product I have is the Pixie by Petra. This is in the shade Rosy Natural. So I'll open it for you. So this great kind of rosy, um, not mauve yeah I would call it like a rose. But like a mid-tone it's not super it's not that pale either but it's kind of dark this is one of the type of shades that's going to be super on trend for fall and the springtime the rosy tones and also the really vampy colors like dark berries uh purples plums black dark browns uh anything kind of 90s so yeah i would i would say that this color is very on trend for right now and it's really cute for travel too if you just want to throw it in your purse so i'm going to put it on and tell you about the texture formulation and all that good stuff so i don't have anything on my lips right now i'll zoom in so it applies pretty smoothly i can tell that it has a little bit of a sheen to the lip so it's not completely matte and it's also not super glossy Ugh. One thing about I hate about Invisalign is I get lipstick on it all the time. It's unavoidable. It's so nasty. <laughs> but actually, I think that's a really pretty sort of nudie rose for my complexion, to be honest. So it feels really smooth. Like, really smooth. It doesn't have any... Uh, sometimes lipsticks will have that gritty sort of texture, but um, I, I think it, it feels very moisturizing, like a really great sort of hybrid between a lipstick and like a lip balm. It has vitamin C in there, vitamin E, peptides, all that good stuff to kind of get your lips very hydrated and plump. So I'm actually really loving this color. At first I thought it was going to be um, a little bit uh, mature, but I think it actually looks really pretty, especially just to kind of throw it on if you have like a minimal makeup look. So loving that one actually. Okay, so now that we have lipstick on, I'm going to go on the cheeks. I have a little bit of blush on, but it's probably wearing off, so I can just apply a little bit more. This is the Seraphine Botanicals Guava Butter. So this is a great kind of multitasking product. You can use it for the cheeks, you can use it for the lips. So I'm going to use it for the cheeks. You guys can see how quick and easy it is to kind of just throw on a blush and go. So just dabbing it on, and because it is super moisturizing and hydrating, um, it's gonna give your skin a really nice glow without having to add any um, highlight or anything. So 
What I've been noticing trend-wise in makeup is that sort of minimal no makeup makeup thing. Literally, it's becoming a thing, like a real thing, okay? <laughs> so this is gonna kind of help with that trend to kind of, it's more like slapdash makeup. Like throw it on, do a little bit of mascara, as minimal as possible, strong bold lip. Like that's what I'm seeing is becoming the trend, which I love, you guys know I love because I'm more of like a minimalist at heart so yeah I'm really liking that just very soft sheen to the skin and super moisturizing so I'm loving the shade it's like that kind of pinky um, actually it's like a pink like a pink coral and I didn't even contour today guys I didn't contour today isn't that nice like that's just wow on point I don't even know how but it's just on point <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving that kind of soft, natural flush of color without being too overbearing. So that's pretty cool. So I also have another cheek color. This is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's Mineral Blush in Autumn Glow. So it's this really soft, natural color that I think will work for all skin tones uh, from kind of light to tan. And it's going to give your skin a really nice glow. So I'm just going to dip my brush and put a little bit in the cap. So it applies very smoothly. You can see it's a very natural looking blush. So it's almost like a bronzy, blushy tone. Uh, it goes on really smoothly also, and it gives your skin like a really nice sort of glow, as you can see. So it's kind of like that highlighting, blushy sort of thing all in one, in one go, if that makes sense. Uh, so this is another kind of easy product to just throw on and you can get everything done same time you're kind of blushing and you're highlighting and it looks really pretty very natural and also kind of warms up the skin so uh, I like that I love the consistency of it, it okay you could see I kind of just swiped it on and it was kind of flawless so yeah that's a great blush product also I'm gonna throw that in my makeup bag because I'm kind of loving these like warm colors for the autumn so yeah that's actually, that one's another, it's another plus plus. We're 3-0 oh right now. <laughs> We're 3-0. Oh. So I'm going to get into the skin. So I'm going to insert clips of me applying the product, but I'm just going to talk about it here. So this is the Ami Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish. It cleans deep, cleans deep pore, cleans pore deep for clear, softer skin, skin-friendly natural extracts. Uh, ha, 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 let's see. So you're just supposed to smooth it over your wet face and massage into your skin and you're going to use this once or twice a week. I think it's a pretty good size actually. It's almost one fluid ounce of this. So it's supposed to just exfoliate the skin. It doesn't have any of the kind of gunky parabens and sulfates and things like that. And it also has mango seed butter so it's going to help soften your skin as well. So uh, let's go for this. It's the scent test. I know some of you are scent sensitive, which I understand. Let's see. So it smells a little bit, it's very, very faint, but it smells of mango. You can definitely smell the mango in there. And um, texture wise, it's not abrasive. I don't think that this will rip your skin off. Um, I think this will work really well for normal skin types. I think even for sensitive because it's not, it's not super abrasive on the skin, I will say. It, it's just the right amount of exfoliation to kind of um, get all the dead skin cells out without ripping your skin off. So yeah, this is a good one. I think I got a pretty good bag this month. <laughs> I'm not complaining about anything yet. Let's see. So I have a Nukes. Uh, this is the Creme Fresh de Butte <laughs> mask. <laughs> My fake French, right? Uh, this is a 24 hour soothing and hydrating fresh mask. It hydrates and relaxes. So this, you leave off this on your face and the eye contour area for 10 minutes. Gently massage any excess product in with fingertips <laughs> or, or remove with Nuke's Gentle Toning Lotion. Uh, so yeah, this is supposed to just be a really hydrating, sort of soothing mask. I'm going to go in for the scent. You get a pretty large amount. This is 1.5 ounces, which is a large amount to be a sample. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of that and see what the scent's looking like. It's silky smooth, very smooth. Um, so there is a scent, there's a fragrance to it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's overpowering. It smells very clean, like a, 
it just smells like fresh soap if that makes sense but it's not overpowering you could put it all over your face and you won't kind of get irritated or get a headache or anything like that but yeah, I just love how smooth it is. It's kind of nice to get a, a break from, I have really oily, kind of sensitive, acne prone skin. So I'm using a lot of treatments that are like lactic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, all these acids burning my skin away basically. And so it's a nice change to kind of get something that's really um, hydrating and softening, like a fresh mask. So thumbs up for that one. So I have, I have two hair products. Uh, this is from Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 501 Styling Treatment. It's meant to smooth, volumize, condition, strengthen, and polish your hair. So you're applying this onto damp hair from your roots to your ends, you comb through, and then you can blow dry after that. One full ounce, so it's pretty good amount uh, for a sample. You can really kind of test it out and see how you like it. Uh, Scent-wise, now I do know that Living Proof comes with does have their kind of signature sort of scent. Um, but it's not super overpowering, and sometimes you do want a little bit of something to make your hair smell fresh, so. Yeah, it's not overpowering. It smells just like every other Living Proof product. And I did find that it helps with the frizz of my hair. It helps kind of uh, smooth it down, because if I don't add any product to my hair, it it's textured, and so it just, it's big okay uh, but yeah so it kind of helps with that for sure to help with the frizziness to help kind of you know uh, tame it a lot so the other hair product I have is the Hask 5-in-1 hair rescue treatment uh, I left the bottle in New York City uh, but <laughs> that's kind of how you know that I liked it is that I brought it with me in the first place so it's kind of in the same respect as the living proof in the sense that it kind of does all these things it's a multitasker but it's a spray this time so I just spray it through my hair while it's damp helps to moisturize keep it really nice and soft gives my hair a little bit of shine and also kind of helps to protect it from I have kittens and they're ruining me right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. And it just helps to soften my hair, um, like I was saying. So I took that with me to New York for Gem Beauty and I ended up leaving it in the hotel. Uh, but you do get a really large size. The bottle was massive and you're gonna be using that for like months at a time, basically. So thumbs up to Hask for that. Uh, loving that product as well. And I think you can get that at the, at Walgreens. I think so. I think, I think I've seen Hask at Walgreens. Uh, so it's pretty accessible. You can refill and, uh, and life's good. So last, last product that I have is a polish. Uh, I love getting polishes in my bag, but they are so tricky to incorporate in the video. So I like that I can kind of just do a review like this and talk about it because I think it makes more sense to the product. So I have the Trust Fun Beauty and this is in Champagne Socialites such a beautiful color so it's pink but it has silver flecks to it so it kind of reflects a little silvery pinkish um, super pretty shade and what I will say so we have tons of this in our office and all of the colors all of the shades like consistently have dried very quickly very quick drying so um, I, I love this brand also it comes with this like flat brush and I paint my nails. When I tell you I paint my nails like every other day, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Like I, I wanted to crush just now. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> this has a really flat wand, so it makes it easy to kind of just stroke it on and go. And like I said, it dries very quickly. Throw on a really great top coat and you're set to go out of the door. So loving Trust Fund Beauty and their polishes. Also Trust Fund, if you want to send me some more, some more polishes, can send me all your colors because <laughs> I love to paint my nails so yeah that's everything actually it went by quicker than I thought and yeah so if you guys love this kind of uh, review style video let me know it makes it a lot easier for me especially because I want to start filming a lot more hair videos like I I'm sorry man I am NOT neglecting you I really am NOT it's just uh, life comes at you fast, okay? So I do want to film more hair videos and it just makes it a lot easier on me if I'm not filming as many makeup tutorials. Uh, so let me know if you guys like this and I will catch you next time as always. Uh, let me know in the comments everything that you're feeling inside your heart 
and I will see you next time. Bye!